Yeah, I can barely hear you, but I'm here. All right, that's cool. To scream real loud because his band's playing and the and and they're not playing right now and I can't hear you. So when they start, it's gonna get ugly. How is it touring with Marilyn Manson at this moment? Oh, it's horrible. I hate it. God, of of course I love it. You hate it and you love it. It's gotta be a no, good show no, then. No, it was it was it was a joke that it went I know. over. Mm-hmm. Are we allowed to air so I can't sh- I can't uh, uh, swear and all that crap? Yeah, man, so I guess I gotta say all those shut the front door instead. Yeah, you can do that. Yeah, thank you. So how's your promotions for Fino and Bleed album coming out now? Is it doing good? Uh, I guess it's doing well. I mean, I've heard it's been doing well, so that warms my heart. Did you take much time to do the video for Bad Medicine? Been in a day. We rolled out to the desert in California and Joshua Tree Park, and uh, we uh, were lucky enough to have uh, Queens of the Stone Age and the Eagles of Death Metal let us into their houses and studios and let us use all their cars and sleep in their houses. And so that was really cool just because I love those bands, and it really helped the video a lot using all the cool old cars of David Ketchings and the Eagles guys' cars. It was more fun than anything else. Where did the name Fino plus Bleed come from for an, for a name for an album? Fino plus Bleed? Well, you know, I hold my promise to, to name the record, but um, Anthony and Anthony Bleed and I have been together for almost, you know, six years in November, and we have pet names for each other, me being Care F and him being Anthony Bleed. Um, so, you know, we had pet names and things, and then one day we were in a really shoddy hotel in Washington, D.C., and and prostitutes would go there, and, you know, guys would screw them, and if they were a good bang, they would carve their name into the ceiling, and uh, there's all these different names on the ceiling, and then right above our bed, really huge, was Fino Plus Bleed, and I, and I opted right there to uh, and promised to name the record that. I thought it was a really funny coincidence. Who's your favorite guitar player, if um, there is one? I don't know. I always go for, like, the more dissonant stuff, like uh, Thurston Moore and Kim Gordon, but, I mean, I also love, like, that sloppy queen kind of Kurt Cobain thing, but I love like Melvin's like King Buzza and but you know I, I'm also a big uh, a big a big sucker for like Neil Young his style and uh, Josh Homme and uh, uh, yeah I love that kind of shit even like um, Jack White like the way he solos like that stuff I, I love that kind of thing. Do you play mostly Gibson Explorers today? Uh, Firebirds are my fave. Um, my favorites are Jazzmasters and ja- and uh, Jaguars, but I can't play them because they go out of tune because I tuned all these really weird low tunings. So uh, I-, I love Firebirds and Explorers, yeah. So you-, you-, you would not play a Fender Stratocaster then? We would not see you with uh, that? I started on them, yeah. I mean, I'll, I'll play anything. I'm so poor, I'll play a fucking refrigerator. Oops, that's in refrigerator. Let's say, how long have you Could been I? playing guitar? Uh, too long. I should be better. Uh, I started when I was 10, but I started be, uh, being able to string three chords together by the time I was 11, so we'll go with that. Did you put a lot of time mm-hmm. into the music to get to where you are today? Yeah, of course. Maybe because of my st- strict upbringing, it, it, it gave my guitar uh, a chance to be able to breathe because I was locked in my room most of the time. Nothing better to do. How was it touring with Guns N' Roses back in 2006? Um, I mean, it was great. I mean, you know, it's cool to play with a band of that stature and lots of good stories. And, you know, being able to be lucky enough to play in front of those audiences, especially, you know, being a band with no record at that time, it was really cool. It was a blessing. Do you find that uh, Axl Rose influenced you at all for the new album? <laughs> Is that a question for real? There's a little taste of it Chinese actually, democracy it in it. influenced my new record. <laughs> Sorry, people are laughing in the background. Um, no. you never been asked that one. Um, no. No, I haven't. <laughs> Do you know where you are? You're on an interview with Care F. Care failure, everybody. Excellent vocals. <laughs> influence right there. I yeah. guess he influenced me not to sing that. <laughs> Your first single, Do It or Die, much music and loud, like just pumped it to its good level and you got a lot of fans. Yeah. Out of that? Yeah. So much music treating you very fairly these days? Yeah, yeah, all right. I mean, it's cool that there's a station out there that still plays music videos. <laughs> cool, cool. You know? How's the radio treating you these days? Um, great. No complaints. I mean, they've been amazing to us. Way too nice. 
who's the people that you're playing with currently on the Dynamic and the musicians? Uh, the members? Yeah. Um, well, you know, me and Anthony are the, the band, the Staples, and, um, you know, I've never, I've always been the only guitarist, and, you know, for this tour and other tours, I, I, after this record was made, I made, you know, so many guitar parts and so many extra vocals that I wanted to add another singer and guitarist, so I added um, a guitarist, uh, Stacy Stray, um, so I could play with another guy, and uh, we were playing with Jack Irons from Pro Jam and Red Hot Chili Peppers for a while on drums. Uh, he was just helping us out until we could find the right guy. And now we're playing with a guy named Daz on drums. What's his uh, background? Where does he come from? From Toronto. We're just all friends. I wanted it to be, you know, a group of friends and not some put-together thing, you know. And I wanted everyone in the band to love playing. And before, you know, there was someone in the band that didn't want to play and just didn't like to play the drums. And, uh, you know, now I have someone that loves to play and wants to be there and that we're all friends, you know, and I think that's cute. This Friday you shall be in Halifax, Nova Scotia with Marilyn Manson. Yeah. You looking forward so. to that gig? Yeah, as, as every other gig, yeah. <laughs> of course. Well, that's cool. <laughs> looking forward to seeing you there, and I uh, hope you uh, have a great show with the Are crowd. Are you going to come out? Oh, yeah, I'm going there for sure. I hope that you have fun. Oh, it's going to be great, I'm sure. And uh, one last question here. What do you sure. like to do on your spare time? Care failure? <laughs> when I have any. Well, like, when we're on the road, we're, you know, playing all the time, so waiting around, waiting to play. Um, but I guess, you know, I use television as a mild sedative, um, and uh, I love bad, really bad TV and really good TV, like History Channel. And otherwise, sleeping. It's really, really boring over here in my in my little world. I owe it to the fans to be able to put on a good show, so if I don't get my... Uh, my show rest, uh, you know, it's unfair to them. They're the ones paying, you know, to come out. And they deserve a, a good show. Well, Kara, it was a pleasure talking to you, and I'll be seeing you Friday in Halifax, Nova Scotia, at the Metro Center, with Marilyn Manson. It's going to rock. You're right. All right, well, you have a good uh, right. good tour, and uh, have a good one. Uh, well, thank you so much. Really appreciate it. We're going to be pumping your music on the radio waves as much as we can. Some dime mannequin. Oh, you guys are so sweet. Thank you from the bottom of my fever. You're a very sweet girl. Not yeah. from my steamer, my fever. Where, where are you tonight, anyways? Montreal. Montreal. Mm hmm. And then tomorrow, where are you playing? Uh, Quebec City, but after that, I have no idea. I, only, I can only remember today and tomorrow. Then af after that, you might be in Halifax, Nova Scotia, and then New Brunswick. Uh, yeah, at some point, yeah. All right, Kara, you have a good one, and uh, you take care, okay? Uh, thanks, man. Take care. Thank you.